That's right. We're cooking beans. Baked beans is one of my favorite dishes to make, yet I keep overlooking it. Maybe because, and I'm going to let you know right now, it takes about 16 hours to make. Hey, whoa, 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 don't bail out on me yet. Listen, I know that's a long time, but it's going to be worth it. There will even be bacon in it. So come on, click out here and join me back in the kitchen. The show's been circling the drains of season four. We begin this recipe the night before. See? It's nighttime. Anyway, for this recipe, grab yourself a one pound bag of Great Northerner beans. Now take your bag of beans and just dump them on a cheat tray. Shake them all out and just uh, go in and inspect for any uh, weird looking miscolor or shriveled beans. So yeah, anything that looks like this, toss out. You don't want that. Now, when you think you got most of them out, transfer them to a pasta strainer. Next, rinse the beans off in cold water. Next, take the beans and place them in a large bowl. Next, fill it up to the brim with cold water. And let the beans soak overnight for 10 hours maximum. First things first, turn on the oven and set it for 250 degrees. Do you drive on the wrong side of the road? Well, the number you're looking for is 120 degrees Celsius. We're gonna cook everything in a five quart Dutch oven. I'll put a link in the description if you need one. So set the burner to medium. All right, after it heats up, add one pound of chopped bacon. Cook it until enough fat renders out. All right, when it begins to look like this, add one onion and two jalapenos that have been diced. Cook until the onions turn translucent. All right, once the onion tr turns translucent, let us add a quarter cup of molasses. Oh, this plunger cup really comes in handy. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. A quarter cup of packed brown sugar and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Mix it together. Time to add our beans. As you can see, they doubled in size from their overnight soak. Mix it all together. Turn the heat to low and add four cups or a 32 ounce carton of veggie broth. Mix everything together. All right, once it reaches the boil, turn the heat off. Toss in two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Mix it together, slap the lid on it, put it in our 250 degree oven. And let it cook for, raise yourselves, five hours. And after all that time, you're ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Well, beans are technically legumes, not fruits. So I guess I ruined that nursery rhyme for you. Let the beans cool a bit and they'll be ready to deliver that sweet and savory flavor. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. But no, come on, please let me do my outro. I mean, seriously, you'd rather watch this pony crap. Have you seen what the Phantom does? It's borderline serial killer stuff. 
And oh my god, the fedoras. Friggin' fedoras everywhere. Oh, the fedora joke is so unoriginal. Well, maybe if you practiced a little self-awareness, we would not have this problem, Mr. Neckbeard.